Have you ever felt held back by what others think of you? Like their opinions were invisible bars trapping you? We all crave acceptance. It's human nature. But sometimes that desire for approval can overshadow our true selves. It can make us question our choices, our dreams, even our worth. What if we could step out of that cage of opinions? What if we could embrace our authentic selves, imperfections and all? Imagine the freedom in living a life true to you, regardless of what others might say or think. Authenticity is about embracing who you are at your core. It's about honoring your values, your passions, your unique perspective. When we live authentically, we step into our power. We show up in the world as our true selves, not as who we think others want us to be. But here's the catch. Living authentically requires courage. It means letting go of the need for constant approval. It means accepting that not everyone will understand or agree with our choices. And that's okay. From a young age, we're often taught to fit in, to follow the rules, to not make waves. This begins in the classroom where uniformity is often encouraged and continues at home, where family expectations shape our behavior. We learn early on that standing out can sometimes lead to unwanted attention or criticism. We learn that pleasing others, especially those we admire or depend on, is important. In school, we strive for good grades to make our parents proud. In social settings, we mimic the behavior of our peers to feel accepted. As we grow older, this need to please extends to our professional lives where we seek approval from bosses and colleagues. Over time, this desire to please can morph into a need for approval. We start to crave validation, whether it's through praise, awards, or social media likes. This constant search for external approval can become exhausting as we begin to rely on others to feel good about ourselves. We start to measure our worth by the opinions of others. The mirror becomes a reflection not just of our physical appearance but of how we think others see us. Social media amplifies this as we scroll through comments and likes, seeking affirmation. The opinions of friends, family, and even strangers can start to dictate how we feel about ourselves. This pressure to conform can be subtle. It might not always be overt or direct but it seeps into our daily lives. In a crowded street we might dress a certain way to blend in. In the office, we might adopt the prevailing attitudes and behaviors to fit the corporate culture. It might show up as a nagging voice in our heads, questioning our choices. This internal dialogue can be relentless, making us second-guess our decisions. We might wonder if we're making the right career move, choosing the right friends, or even living in the right place. It might lead us to make decisions based on what we think others will approve of, rather than what feels right for us. This can be particularly challenging when we're faced with major life choices. The fear of disappointing others or being judged can overshadow our own desires and instincts. We might choose a career path that seems prestigious rather than one that truly excites us, or stay in a relationship because it's what others expect, not because it's what we want. But breaking free from this pressure to conform is possible. It starts with recognizing the influence of others on our decisions and understanding that our worth is not determined by external validation. Embracing our individuality and making choices that align with our true selves can lead to a more fulfilling and authentic life. Celebrating our unique qualities and differences can empower us to live more confidently and authentically. Taking time for self-reflection and self-care can help us reconnect with our inner values and desires. Journaling, meditation, and engaging in hobbies that bring us joy can provide clarity and strengthen our sense of self. By prioritizing our own happiness and well-being, we can resist the pressure to conform and live a life that truly reflects who we are. Ultimately, the journey to overcome the pressure to conform is about finding balance. It's about understanding that while seeking approval is a natural human tendency, it shouldn't come at the expense of our own happiness and authenticity. By surrounding ourselves with supportive people who appreciate us for who we are, we can build a life that feels true to ourselves and fulfilling in every way. The fear of judgment can be paralyzing. It can keep us from pursuing our dreams, expressing our true selves and living a life that feels meaningful. We might worry about being judged, criticized, or rejected. This fear can keep us small, safe, and hidden. But here's the truth. You are worthy of love and belonging just as you are. Your worthiness is not dependent on the opinions of others. It's time to break free from fear's grip and step into your power. Section 5. Breaking Free 
a journey inward. Breaking free from the need for approval is an ongoing journey, not a destination. It's about cultivating self-awareness, challenging negative self-talk, and building a strong sense of self-worth. It's about learning to value your own opinions and trusting your inner compass. Start by paying attention to your thoughts and feelings. When you notice yourself seeking approval or worrying about what others think, pause. Ask yourself, what do I truly want in this situation and what feels aligned with my values? Section 6. Values as Guiding Stars Your values are your guiding principles, your non-negotiables. They are the core beliefs that shape your decisions, actions, and ultimately your life. They represent what's most important to you in life. These values can stem from your upbringing, personal experiences, or even your aspirations for the future. When you live in alignment with your values, you feel a sense of purpose and fulfillment. This alignment brings a deep sense of satisfaction and joy as you are living true to yourself. You're less likely to be swayed by the opinions of others because you're clear about what truly matters. This clarity provides a strong foundation, making it easier to stand firm in your beliefs and decisions. Take some time to identify your core values, write them down, consider what principles you hold dear and what you want to prioritize in your life. Reflect on how you can incorporate them into your daily life. Think about the small, everyday actions you can take to honor these values. When faced with a decision, ask yourself, does this choice align with my values? This question can serve as a compass, guiding you towards choices that resonate with your true self. By consistently aligning your actions with your values, you create a life that is authentic and meaningful. Remember, your values are not just abstract concepts, they are the essence of who you are. They influence your relationships, your career, and your overall well-being. Embrace them fully and let them light your path. Section 7. Building Boundaries, Brick by Brick Boundaries are essential for protecting your energy and well-being. They're about setting limits on what you will and will not tolerate from others. Boundaries are not selfish, they're a way of honoring your needs and priorities. Learning to say no is a powerful act of self-care. It's okay to decline requests that drain your energy or don't align with your values. Remember, you're not responsible for other people's feelings. You're responsible for your own well-being. Section 8. The Day I Chose My Own Path I remember the day I finally decided to stop letting the opinions of others dictate my life. It was a moment of clarity, a moment where I realized that I had been living in the shadows of other people's expectations for far too long. I was terrified, but I knew I couldn't keep living in fear. The anxiety was overwhelming, but deep down, I knew that this fear was a sign that I was on the brink of something significant. I had a dream, a passion that I'd been ignoring for far too long. It was something that had always been in the back of my mind, a quiet whisper that grew louder with each passing day. I took a deep breath and shared my dream with a trusted friend. It was a vulnerable moment, opening up about something so personal and dear to my heart. To my surprise, she was incredibly supportive. Her eyes lit up with excitement, and she told me that she believed in me, that she always knew I had something special within me. Her encouragement gave me the boost I needed to take the first step. It was as if a weight had been lifted off my shoulders, and I felt a newfound sense of freedom and determination. That day, I chose myself, my dreams, my own path. It wasn't just a decision, it was a commitment to live authentically, to pursue what truly made me happy, regardless of the obstacles that lay ahead. I started by setting small, achievable goals. Each step forward, no matter how small, was a victory. I documented my journey, writing down my thoughts, my fears, and my triumphs. There were challenges, of course, moments of doubt and setbacks that made me question my decision. But each obstacle was a lesson, a chance to grow stronger and more resilient. And with each small victory, my confidence grew. I began to see the world through a different lens, one where I was the author of my own story. As I continued on my path, I found that my journey inspired others. People began to reach out, sharing their own dreams and fears. And I realized that by choosing my own path, I was also helping others find theirs. Looking back, I am grateful for that pivotal day. It was the beginning of a journey that has brought me more fulfillment and joy than I ever imagined possible. Choosing my own path wasn't easy, but it was worth it. It taught me the importance of self-belief, the power of perseverance, and the beauty of living a life true to oneself. And so I continue to walk this path with hope in my heart and a clear vision of the future. This is my journey, and I'm proud of every step I've taken. 
Section 9. The Liberation of Self-Acceptance Choosing to live authentically is a liberating experience. It's about embracing your imperfections, your quirks, your unique way of being in the world. It's about letting go of the need to be perfect and giving yourself permission to be fully human. Self-acceptance doesn't mean you're perfect or that you don't have room for growth. It simply means you accept yourself as you are right now in this moment. It's about recognizing your worthiness regardless of your perceived flaws or shortcomings. Section 10. Your way, your journey. Remember, this is your life, your journey. You get to decide how you want to live it. Don't let the opinions of others dim your light or hold you back from pursuing your dreams. Embrace your authentic self, imperfections and all. The world needs your unique gifts and talents. It needs your voice, your perspective, your way of being. Don't be afraid to shine your light brightly, even if it makes others uncomfortable. Section 11. Share your story, embrace your truth. What are your experiences with caring too much about what others think? What steps can you take today to embrace your authentic self and live a life true to you? Share your story in the comments below. Your voice matters. Your story has the power to inspire others to embrace their own truth.